Hi guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I know it's been a while, but I actually was in the process of moving and just dealing with work and family and all of that, so I kind of stopped with my channel. I'm going to be posting a lot more on here, and I'm really excited to continue this journey. So, speaking of that, today I'm going to be showing you guys my updated skincare routine. I feel like my skin has improved so much and I feel like these products like are actually working for me now. And I just want to show you what those products are and maybe give you a few tips and tricks on helping you guys with your skin. So if you'd like to see that video, then just go ahead and keep on watching. Okay, so this face wash is amazing. It's formulated with kale, spinach, and green tea, which are all good for sensitive skin and it's free of sulfates and alcohol and it's vegan and cruelty free which is even better it works so well because it's super effective yet it's not harsh but it'll get the job done for you and it'll get it done well So for those of you who don't know, witch hazel is a natural remedy made from the bark and leaves of a plant. It's just super, super natural as well. I have the Thayer's brand. Make sure you get the alcohol-free one because alcohol dries out your skin. And it's cucumber scented and it's super good and it gets my skin clean and toned and ready for the next step. Okay, so I'm just letting that soak into my skin. And then the next thing I'm going in with is the UFO oil from Sunday Riley. So this is what really changed the game for me. It helped with my acne, my blackheads, and my pores. It's formulated with 1.5% salicylic acid. This really keeps my acne at bay. So next I'm going in with the Retinol Renewing Serum from Hylogic. It's a hyaluronic acid and vitamin E. It's fragrance-free, gluten-free, paraben-free, vegan-friendly, and cruelty-free. It's just something to help with my acne scars or any redness and honestly it's been working and it's way less harsh than an actual retinol cream so that's why I like using this brand. Okay so the next thing I'm going in with is my Origins Original Skin Matte Moisturizer with Willow Herb. I honestly really like this product. The smell of Willow Herb is really fresh and clean and it also keeps me matte all day which helps a lot because I get really oily in my t-zone so that's why I enjoy using this and it doesn't break me out. Okay, so the last product I'm going in with is my Goddess Garden Organics Facial Natural Mineral Sunscreen. So I enjoy using this because it is formulated for sensitive skin and it's all natural. It's actually a really good base for makeup too, surprisingly. It's super sticky. Um, so I enjoy using it under my makeup and it just does the job. I'm putting it on because obviously I put on a retinol earlier and it's best to protect your skin from the sun. But it's an overall really good sunscreen and it's very affordable. So if you're looking for a good one, I would for sure check out this brand. They have a whole bunch of different kinds too. Okay, so that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned a little bit. I just wanted to share my skin routine with you guys because it's been working and it's a lot of products that work really well with sensitive skin. Again, I could have completely different skin than you guys, but if you can take anything away from this video, I'm happy. So I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video. If you have any suggestions or you want to see anything, just leave a comment down below. I'm going to be filming a lot more and I'm super excited about it, but thank you so much for watching this video.